postseason, but already on their resume, two top 10 wins from the regular season. And the block is up, and as Maria alluded to, size definitely advantage for the Longhorns. Longhorns had that scattered out well. No surprises there as Wisconsin tries down to run down the heart of the Texas block. Not easily passed. Sarah Palmer is the four-year starter at Libero from Kailua, Hawaii. And the service error evens it up at one apiece for the Longhorns, 27-2. They rolled through the Big 12 undefeated. As Alan Chapman steps behind the service line, having a breakthrough season, averaging almost one more kill per set this year than she did a year ago. There is Carlini, number one in red, the young setter. Now Allison setting up Pat Bell for the kill for Texas. They've got weapons all along that front row, and even when they roll into the back. And when they get the pass close to the net, people like Cat Bell, Abagu, others are serious threats. So Wisconsin has to serve really tough, and they did at the start of that last play. They got the pass well off the net, and they could defend better. Carlini came up with that dig. Pat Brooks is uh, the other Hawaiian that we'll see plenty of time today for Texas. And Demi Morales trying to tool that taller block. She's just 5'7", and drills it into the block point Texas. And she's wise to go at the smaller blocker, but even the smaller blocker <laughs> has four inches on her with Allison, number 12 for Texas, at 5'11". Remember to the net in women's volleyball, seven feet, four inches, and you've got players out there on the court that can touch about 10 feet as the Badgers respond with a kill of their own. Anne-Marie Hickey is the senior out of Oswego, Illinois. Injury's a big part of the story, overcoming adversity for Wisconsin. She was a player that missed six matches with an ankle injury and serves up the ace. Badgers finished in the middle of the pack this year in the Big Ten, 27 and nine. They'll get a free ball here. This is Carlini looking to set up Thompson. And they'll try the same combo again. Good D from Texas. Ackerman's going to bump it over. Carlini checks it out. And the back set. And a kill for Courtney Thomas, the six-footer from DeKalb, Illinois. And one of the things Wisconsin's trying to do is move its offense around and get the ball away from a good middle blocker in Texas with Cat Bell. Keep it away from running right down the middle of the score of the court, just like that. Running at the gap between blockers, number one and number 12 for Texas there. So here, there's a space between that middle blocker and right side blocker and number 14 for Wisconsin, Dominique Thompson. Nice attack. And if there is an Achilles heel for this Texas team, Karch, we've seen it now on the last two plays. Will they be able to pass well enough to utilize that size advantage? Not so far. And the first punch comes from the Badgers in a 6-3 lead. Friend Adam Amin on the call in the region final. They've dropped just two sets in their road here to the semis. Maria Taylor was listening into that last huddle. Well, more focus is going to be placed on the serve and putting pressure on Texas. Right now, Kelly Sheffield wants to see even more free balls return to them because of service eat errors. Yeah, the errors helping out uh, Wisconsin on a 4 0 run right now. Carlini, the back set, and another kill for Courtney Thomas. They continue to move that ball around. Yes, and they wanted to start the play. Wisconsin played great backcourt defense. That's what Coach Sheffield was talking about. They have the matchup. They've got Cat Bell going against a 5-7 blocker coming behind. But Wisconsin controlled the ball. And here they control it again. Opportunity to change it. Transfer. Morales. How about a 
there, 5-7, able to go over the top of the block on the other side to get a touch. Yeah, you gotta reach really high if you're only 5-7, even if you jump well, and this is called hitting the edges of the block, right over the right fingers of that right side blocker, number 12, Hannah Allison for Texas. Allison dumps it and scores point Texas. And that's where having a shorter middle blocker for Wisconsin is tough. She's the same height as the setter. She's gonna have to work harder to be aware of the offense of Hannah Allison. Haley Eckerman, the junior out of Waterloo, Iowa, the two-time All-American. She was the Big 12 Player of the Year for the second season in a row. The pass to Carlini and the tip by Thomas. Out of the back row, Eckerman able to put it away, point Longhorns. That was another key that Coach Jared Elliott was talking about for Texas, wanting to get a good block and defense up, get the ball up on their side, and come down running, running transition. Eckerman with the kill out of the back court. Carlini. Bumps it out wide and off the block. Morales gets the point for the Badgers. Jared Elliott was worried about this. They do better, he says. Texas blocks better against tall hitters, hitters who contact the ball at a high point. That was not a high contact point. They were late, or actually I should say they were early. They were coming down, got tooled. And now struggling to get the offense going, too. Oh, and Morales uh, did what Maria Taylor alluded to in the opening of the broadcast for Morales. Even though she's 5'7", she's got a 32-inch vertical and plays with a bit of a chip on her shoulder, knowing that she's a target. Good defense for Wisconsin, another one of the keys for them, and then the misfire by Morales. Looking for hands. That's one thing she actually focuses on in the gym is trying to hit off of high hands. So hitting up into the block, you might see her trying to use that shot. If you can't always go over the top, use it to ricochet it wide out of bounds. And there it is. And what so many hitters forget is the block can be your friend. Too many hitters try to avoid a big block, when the, whether they're a tall hitter, big jumper, or a shorter one like Morales. Averaging close to four kills per set in the NCAA tournament, better numbers, but the point there for Texas, 11-7 Badgers. In our first set, we will play best three of five. Anna Allison, the senior setter from Arkansas, set them to a finals record last year as the team hit 360. And the service error. Those sets will be to 25 unless we go to a fifth, then it's 15 points. You have to win by two. And the substitutions are affecting the game, aren't they, Karch? You're up to 15 now per set per team. Yeah, as of last season, they increased it by three. That's changing the equation for the way some teams. And now that's ace number three for Wisconsin, putting lots of service pressure on Texas. But those extra three substitutions have changed a team, for example, like Washington, the team we'll see in the second semifinal, now running a two-setter offense, where previously they ran a one-setter offense. Allison setting up Chaco Babu, the Big 12 Freshman of the Year. Texas struggling to try and get something going, and the slide behind from the middle, Molly McCage, point horns. Amy Neal, the sophomore, uh, Lake Travis High School in Austin. Morales with the pass to Carlini and the block right back at the Badgers. Now it's Chapman. Popped up by Neal. This is Eckerman finding the corner for Texas. Good vision by Eckerman. She saw that the line defender had pulled up and was looking for off speed for, for a tip shot, something short. Corner was wide open. Carlini goes back to Chapman, just the one blocker up, and Chapman able to beat it. Point Badgers. You can
can see setter Lauren Carlini looks every time she sets, she tries to take a look at the opposing block. And if she sees the middle blocker leaning one way, she'll try to set the other, catch him being late. Nice up by Carlini. Chapman from behind the line. And the block. Haley Nelson, the freshman out of Cary, North Carolina, returns to sender. Boy, does she. And Texas likes to feed the freshman of the year in the Big 12 of Bagu, but no success on that. Well, if Wisconsin had any nerves coming in, they certainly aren't showing it as Carlini spreads it around and the Badgers are on top. Fifteen to nine, Wisconsin on top of Texas. Let's take a look at planning for success. Brought to you by Northwestern Mutual. Yeah, how does Texas win and how does Whiskey win, Coach? They, they want to play with an edge. They want to play like they're threatened. They have not been able to come out that way so far. Coach Elliott's uh, gets very frustrated with that. They also want touches and transitions. They want to get good block touches. Wisconsin, of course, they want to play their best defensive match of the year. Coach Sheffield feels that Texas has not faced a defensive team of this capacity, and they're going to try and frustrate Texas. The other part, of course, is just the fact that they want to play as underdogs and they relish that role. The block and the facial there for Texas. We are within five. Thomas and Morales with three kills apiece to lead the way for Wisconsin. Bailey Webster for Texas has taken just one swing so far in the match. And Abagu is hitting negative. This is Eckerman off the fingertips. Ping ponging around, point for the Longhorns. Well, for Texas, they opened up at home and dropped a set to AM and still got through. They went up to Nebraska and had to beat the Huskers in Lincoln, handing Nebraska its first home sweep loss in 24 years. They were dominant in that region final. As Wisconsin gets the kill, Ellen Chapman. And they came out so focused in that they had over 8,000 Nebraska fans, which is a, an atmosphere that all the Texas Longhorns said they, they, they love, but they don't have that here. There aren't as many Wisconsin fans, so they have to generate more of their own energy. So far, they've been unable to do that. Carlini goes and gets it. Morales. Trying to finesse it around the block, out of the back. Neal right into the double for Wisconsin. And we saw that a number of times last weekend. Beth, I don't know why Texas would choose to serve the back row, uh, set the back row substitute Neal when you have somebody like Cat Bell out on the right. Just have to go with the front row strengths of your team. Something like this. Bell able to use the block sliding behind the 6'2 junior from Mesquite, Texas. In a lot of ways, Karch is the emotional center of this Longhorn team. Their big hitters are more on the quiet side, and they tend to feed off Bell's emotion. And when we talked to them yesterday, all you had to say was big personality, and everybody else started cracking up. <laughs> yep, she's the one. She was the critical element against Nebraska, and right now the Badgers are having their way. And they're running a play that should be pretty easy to stop. It's not that fast, but it's right down the middle of the court, and it's harder for the Texas end blockers, sideline blockers, to get in and help the middle. Allison looks to Eckerman and pounds it down, point Texas. That time, Texas returning the favor and bringing Haley Eckerman into the court. This is going to be an almost automatic swing cross court. The Wisconsin block was far too wide on that play. They have to stay inside and make Eckerman bring it back down the line. Fourth kill for Eckerman without an error, and now she's back to serve. Overpass, and nothing Carlini could do about it as Bell jumps on it. Point, Texas. Yeah, you saw it. Of course, Lauren Carlini is in the backcourt right now, so she couldn't put a block up or even touch it above the height of the net. If she were in the front court, she could well have blocked that. Yeah. 
Carlini. The back set to Thomas, and now the block starting to rise up for the Longhorns as we hear from Bailey Webster finally. And what a nice move. Watch Webster's left all alone, and look at her drop into her right, our left. What a great one-on-one -on -one block. Texas on a 3-0 run, thanks to that stuff block. Pulling him back into this match. Fourth of this set for Texas. They are still down four. Well, as we conclude the volleyball season, uh, we are jumping into the bowl season with both feet. Capital One Bowl Week beginning on Saturday with four games for you. Starting out with Washington State, Colorado State, and then deep into the night, Capital One Bowl Week to uh, Saturday on ESPN and ABC. Always an exciting time of the year. We are in Seattle. Beth Mullins, Karts, Karai, Maria Taylor, and the first of our two semifinals. Wisconsin, what a remarkable story. Their first year head coach, Kelly Sheffield. They've got a freshman setter that, despite the coaching change, told us she loved Wisconsin so much there was no doubt in her mind the great Carlini was going to still head to Madison and be a part of the program that she has loved since she was a youngster. The National Player of the Year, everybody, Karch, wanted her to change her mind, and she was committed, and the loyalty to Wisconsin paying off for both her and the program. Well, Coach Kelly Sheffield was talking to his right side blockers, one of which is Lauren Carlini, warning them that when Bailey Webster and Haley Ackerman are brought inside with some of those sets that they have to take away all of that sharp angle, make her force her down the line to really hit that line shot. You mentioned it already, some Karch. Ackerman with service error. That's three service errors for Texas and three service aces for Wisconsin, a six point swing. And those little things add up to a big difference when so many of these games might be determined by two points. Wow. Neckerman responds in kind. Gets the point back. Nice. Now that's the kind of hitter that you would think, okay, we'll set her in the back row. Yes. Somebody like Haley Eckerman, who plays all the time. Now five kills for Haley Eckerman. Carlini looking for Thompson. Webster. Nice set. And the block is there for Texas. Fifth of this first set. That's keeping them in it right now. Boy, I sure like that set in transition by the former setter, Courtney Thomas, number three for Wisconsin. But the other Wisconsin people, they're pretty good at it. They have to be. When you're going to use the block, some of them are going to come back. That's called coverage, being ready to help your hitter if it rebounds off the block that time. Wisconsin unable to do it. But then Texas, that's what they've been doing much of this set. If they score a point, then they miss the next serve. And they're preventing themselves from getting on real scoring runs of two, three, four points in a row. No momentum for them at all in this first set. Allison looking from the cage, and the tip is effective. And Co Longhorns. Coach Sheffield not happy with that. He knows they have, not only do they have a good defensive team, but they need to play a great defensive game. A good Libro has got to be able to come up with that one. I'm guessing that Anne-Marie Hickey will come up with the next one. Read the hitter better. And the thing that has served them well all year is their fighting spirit, according to their coach. Overcoming a ton of injuries overcoming the fact that they had missed out on the tournament in each of the last five seasons and his first job was to rebuild the confidence of these Badger players who have talked so much about the new culture that Sheffield has been able to create. They were unranked in the preseason. Even the other coaches in the Big Ten cards thought they'd finish you know, somewhere near the bottom, and that has not been the case at all. And a lot of the players were talking about it, how they didn't really know if they, if they believed. And he came right in and said, look, we can challenge the big guns in the Big Ten, the Penn States, the Nebraskas, the Minnesotas. We got to go after them.
him. I know you can do it. He, and he just, they had a lot of good parts there left over, uh, or not left over, but they already had a lot of good players to work with and just built a little confidence, and here they are in the semifinals. And they are the indicator of just how strong the Big Ten was this year. They got eight teams into the tournament, and a record seven of them made it to the Sweet 16. And now Wisconsin and Penn State are here amongst the last four standing. And we will see the Nittany Lions taking on Washington. That's our second semifinal coming up on ESPN2. And a rarity for the Huskies to have an opportunity to win a national championship essentially at home. They're about 15 minutes from their campus. And the Nittany Lions look on one of their five national championships, if you remember, was probably one of the greatest tournaments that we've been a part of back in 2008 when they had to beat Nebraska in the semis in front of about 18,000 people in Omaha. So they are no strangers to a hostile environment. In fact, they said they relish that more. They'd love to come into the hostile environment, and I'm guessing they're going to have a lot of that tonight. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Badgers are trying to put the finishing touches on a surprise here in the first set. The Badgers, that offense, they're trying to spread out the tall blockers of Texas. There, a fast set behind by setter Carlini. Gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Part of what Kelly Sheffield just said in the timeout was get the ball to Dominique Thompson. She's going to have those one-on-ones if you continue to run the play set. So he's forcing that right now. Thompson. We'll see if she gets a few more touches. Her teammates right there, Nelson alongside Morales with the block. Three points from the opening set. Nelson looking to Bailey Webster, who is still without a kill in this first set. She's averaging over four per set in the postseason. As Abagu goes out, and Pilar Victoria comes on as Jared Elliott's looking for something to shake up his lineup. McCage sliding behind. And the infraction against Texas, and the set points are lined up for Wisconsin. And that early timeout, Elliott had to call it 6-3, leaves him without one late.